Today we're going to build the doghouse and we'll learn about some new tools and some new techniques. One thing I want to make sure I mention is as soon as you start your file, when you create your first template, make sure that you save it to your desktop so you don't lose it and it has somewhere to back up to. And make sure that you save it with your last name and the title of the project. And for this one it will be doghouse. We're going to start today's project off with simple template feet and inches. I'm going to start using SketchUp. All right, this time when we start off, we've got our red axis and our green axis and our blue axis going straight up. And we have our Susan, our model in the middle here. We're gonna start off by taking the square tool and we're gonna click once on the origin, move the mouse. We're not clicking anything else, just moving the mouse. And we'll say 10 feet, comma, 10 feet, enter. And that's the a little apostrophe. So we've got a nice good 10 by 10 square here. We're gonna make another one on the inside We'll click somewhere by her foot and we'll make a five feet comma three feet rectangle okay and we're going to push pull that rectangle up about let's say four feet no nope, i'm going to undo that we'll push it up three feet okay so we've got a nice little box there a little rectangle now we're going to take the pen the pen tool and find the midpoint so we're going to use those that inference engine. So we've got an endpoint, we have a midpoint. We're going to click once and draw a line across the top, and you'll see it's going across the green axis, and go to the other midpoint and lock that in place. So we've got a nice little line across the top of our rectangle. And we'll come to a better angle, and we'll take the move tool, mouse right over that line so just the line turns blue. Click once and start to move it. Now, it's going to move in all kinds of different directions, but we're going to lock the axis with the up arrow key, so it's just going up and type two apostrophe enter for two feet. Now we've got a nice little roof on our doghouse. Okay. Now to make this look a little more like a doghouse, we're gonna take the push-pull tool and come to this face of the, the roof. See how there's two different faces of the roof? Come right in here, we'll zoom in a little bit. And we'll click once on this one side. We'll hit control to make a copy and leave a copy in place. So now we make a whole new surface and we'll type two inches so now we have a little two inch roof on our doghouse. And when I double click on the other side, it automatically makes that copy of two inches on top of it. Okay, We'll give our roof a little more depth. So we'll come right down to this bottom edge of our roof and we'll bring that down three inches. Okay, And if I come to the other side and I double click, same thing, it adds that three inches to it. I'll do the same thing if I double click on the edges of the roof, it'll bring that out three inches. So that push-pull tool is going to help us out because it knows what we want to do next. All right, so now we have a nice little separate roof on top of our doghouse. Okay. Now, we need a door for our doghouse. So I'll take my rectangle tool, and I'm not going to do any measurements here. I'm just going to kind of guess and do a nice little square. So I'll actually make it square. And then I'll come over here and I'll use the arc tool. Click on one side of the square on one endpoint. Click on the opposite endpoint. And this is a three-click three tool. I'll go up until it says half circle. Now I have a nice little half circle for the door of my doghouse. And I can erase this line in the middle because now this is one surface. Come to a better angle. I'll take the push-pull tool, mouse over the surface, and bring it in about six inches. Okay. All right. So now it's starting to look like a doghouse. Let's give it some actual texture. All right. So now we're going to give our doghouse some texture. So I'm going to come up here to the paint bucket tool or the materials tool and I'll just go all the way up to colors and I'll just pick a black color here and I'll make this look a little more like a hole of the doghouse. Okay. Now I'll come back up here and go to brick and cladding. So these are the, like siding, brick cladding and siding. And I'll just pick this uh, siding white and I'll click on the side of my doghouse and it starts to look like siding on the side of my doghouse. Okay, I'll find a nice little, uh, oh, if I come back up here and I go to roofing, I'll find some shingles, and I'll click on, on the parts of my roof. And make it look a little bit more like a roof. Okay, now something you should take a look at 
is if you notice down here, there's a little line under here. Okay, we want to get rid of that line because we want to make sure our roof is all one piece. So as you go around, you can get rid of the extra lines that you don't need. Oops. It won't be everywhere, but if especially if you here's the roof here. Get rid of that line. Get rid of that line. We want to make sure our roof is all one piece. And here's the other line here. Okay, so now it's a solid piece. Okay, and we'll continue on with our roofing, and we'll get it each little edge. Okay, got all of these edges. We got the back edge. Uh, we'll leave the underneath for now. We can do a little bit more with that in a second. Okay, now that we have some siding on our doghouse and some roofing, let's fill in some of the other little things, like some, we'll use a couple other colors for, um, let's go with red in here, and I know this sounds like a crazy color, but you'll see why in a moment. So we'll go with red trim. Okay, now all of my trim for my doghouse is red back here, because that's all one piece, we deleted those lines. All right, now, if I go to home, these are all the colors that I've used in this drawing so far, or that are being used, like the ones for Susan. If I decide that I really don't like this white color, I can edit in home, edit that texture to be a different color. So now I have a purple doghouse with red trim. Okay. All right, opening back up the paint bucket tool, and I can come over here to ground cover, or maybe we'll go to, to vegetation. We'll pick some grass. We've got grass for our doghouse. Now we need a water bowl. So we're going to make a water bowl. So I'll take a circle tool. I'll come down here on the grass and I'll just do a six inch circle. Okay. And if I zoom in here and I'll use a new tool called the offset tool. Okay. This will make a shape inside my shape. So I'm going to make, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say that one inch in, I want there to be a rim and I'll select my outer rim of my bowl, take the push pull tool and come up about four inches. Okay, it's starting to look like a bowl. Now, next what I want to do is go to the bottom, come up a little bit, hit control to leave a copy so I can separate the bowl from the grass. Now I have a bottom to my bowl. Now I'm going to go and color it and I'll make it match the red of my doghouse. Okay, all right, then last, I want to give our, our bowl some water. So I'll take the push pull tool on the bottom, click once, start to bring it up, leave a copy again so we have a bottom to our water bowl, and I'll give a level to the water. And then I'll come back into our materials browser, go to water. We'll do water pool lights so we can have some light come in there, and now we've got our water bowl. Okay. Next thing we'll do is we'll add a dog. You go to Window and Components. This is the component library, and you can search for pretty much anything. What we're going to do is use some of the stock components that are in here. So if I use this little drop-down menu next to the Home button, I have Components. Double-click that, and here's a 2D Girls and Dog. And now this is a 2D component, so it'll follow my view. So here we go. We have our doghouse with Susan for a scale, a water bowl, and the dog. So try that out. Follow it step by step. If you have any questions, I'm right in the room.